Hi, welcome to today's session. Today we're going to be talking about how search engine optimization works. We're going to give you eight little steps of uh, how search engine optimization works. First of all, understand search engine optimization works best when you have keyword research. That is, you have to find out how people would search on search engines like Google for what you what you offer, what you sell, what your business uh, name is, or what you're putting out there in front of people. Uh, and of course, you can. Uh, there are different kind of tools out there. One of those tools you can start, you could use, would be uh, the Google AdWords key research tool that's out there. And there's other keyword research tools out there that you can use to find out how many people actually search for a specific term. Okay. Number two is if you can, if at all possible, you want to create what is called a keyword-rich domain. Okay, a keyword-rich domain. So once you see what people search for, uh, you you can go out there and try to get a related web address or a what would be called as a URL. This uh, that is known as your domain. So if you had blank dot com, and that would be the best. Uh, a keyword rich domain you could get and so you want to look you want it to look something like you know www.yourkeyword.com so let's just say uh, your keyword is uh, uh, search engine optimization you would want to try to get a website named www.searchengineoptimization.com or www.seo if that happened to be the term that they look for dot com okay number three the right platform we suggest you use WordPress uh, partly because WordPress is very easy to use it's a very it's very flexible it uh, has uh, great features inside of it that can give you all kinds of uh, search engine search engine optimization tools and you can build it the the site the way you choose uh, but Hey, you know, but what we discover is if you're looking for something both user and Google friendly that work together, then WordPress is the way to go about it. There's a lot of people out there's a lot of different quote free, uh, quote unquote free uh, web design builders out there. Fine, but you have to understand uh, Google looks for certain things. WordPress has those. They use plugins that help search engine optimization, and Google loves it. Okay. The fourth thing that you can use is, of course, permalinks. Permalinks is a part of what uh, search engine optimization is about. And what a permalink is is something that uh, you want to set up inside of, a, say, a WordPress site. And uh, this key is to uh, create a title. In other words, it creates a name. Instead of a bunch of numbers and oddball-looking things, it creates a name for the page. And of course, it makes it very easy for WordPress and Google to, to work together because you actually can take your pages inside your WordPress site and also optimize them as keywords. Okay. And then number five, uh, inside of WordPress, we encourage you to use a uh, SEO plugin. Uh, and there are do different kinds out there, different different makers of them. But what you just need to know about that is there is a way to create a handshake between Google and your website. And on WordPress, that is done through an SEO uh, plugin. All in one is a great SEO plugin. That's how that works. May not mean anything to you, but that's one way to have that to be highly effective in shaking hands and helping your uh, website be the easiest to find. Then number six is quality content. Uh, the, uh, you want to, you know, a lot of people try to confuse Google and all these kinds of things, but what Google wants is good content. Uh, and when I say good content, we're talking about as original to your business as it can be. Uh, and, and, and in other words, you don't want to be copying what somebody else wrote somewhere else because then Google would say, well, what does that have to do with your website and what you're doing? Uh, so that that would be one approach to this that you would want to create quality content. And there's a lot of ways to get quality content. There are people out there who write quant content. You can write your own. Uh, there's various different ways of putting that content on your website, and that is 
that is huge uh, content when we talk about content you can talk about text you can talk video you can talk about pictures uh, there's numerous kind of content that really can help your website number seven social media uh, you always wanted to try to connect uh, to something outside of yourself on your website whether it's Facebook or Tumblr or Twitter or YouTube or or Flickr or any number of uh, of hundreds of other social sites out there where people share information and uh, connect it together so that creates a highly usable website in other words Google looks and says okay is this relevant and are people reacting to what's on this web, uh, website are they using what's on this website are they watching what's on this website are they commenting what's on this website even if it's out on a social media platform so social media becomes real important and then number eight how uh, SEO works is uh, Google looks to see what is everything connected to on this website and uh, uh, on page SEO it has a lot to do with what is called uh, backlinks and uh, and of course the 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 higher uh, ranking a, a website is that can be connected to another website that it 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 shares its uh, ranking abilities with that. So you want to uh, try to create connections to what we call uh, high ranking uh, PR uh, page ranking sites that give your website ranking power as well. So that's a little bit about how SEO works. Nothing really complicated. You're probably not interested in it at all, but at least you could have uh, understand the terminology that goes along with it. So, uh, hey, thanks for uh, listening in on our session today. We'll talk at you later.